Thank you very much. Today I will show you a city with a dark past, Kanchanaburi. And over 100,000 people died building this place. Good morning guys, hello from Kanchanaburi. Kanchanaburi. Today I wanted to go to Erawan waterfall, but today they are cleaning the waterfalls. It's only one day in the year. I'm very lucky. It's like a Thai version of Top Gun from the 80s. So since we cannot go to the waterfalls today, I will show you the city. Let's check what's good here. I was ready for swimming, but <laughs> not today, but it's okay. But first of all, I need to buy some socks. Those are around 50 cents. The lady in the store was very nice. Actually, most of the people in Thailand, they are super kind and friendly, funny. They like joking, laughing. Super shape, fancy. Good to go. So just next to the bus station, I saw this abandoned building. Of course, I love abandoned stuff. So let's try to explore that. And here you have a station for scooter taxi. And this is the proof. This is a certified place. I like this guy. The thing with abandoned places in Thailand, it's like, mm. for example, this building is big. Some of the parts, they have some like, this was a, like a snooker club. They have some restaurants here and most likely someone will be living there, like some kind of homeless people. But that's pretty cool. You have a vending machine and you can refill your bottle with the water. Your side is sketchy as well. Someone is having a nice tree house over here. Clever. They locked it from each side. I thought that I am more clever, but no, actually they are more clever. Let's walk for a bit. Maybe we'll find something interesting. They are playing ping pong and dancing at the same time. See you. They, they like the camera here. In Korea, they are hiding the faces. Here, when they see me, when they see the camera, they want to be on the film. That just pimping. This kind of old wooden houses reminds me a little bit of Japan. Here you have a restaurant and they are drying their spoons and chopsticks, the wooden ones. So in that city they have a Kwai River and the famous bridge of Kwai River, which I will take you later. But as I can see, they also have a sky bridge here. Maybe we can check it out. The entrance for that dope spot was one dollar and a half. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, it's for cats and dogs, so he can buy the socks for them. Slippers. It's pretty cool because the bridge is made of glass. It can be maximum 15 people, otherwise this bridge will fall. Check out the views from the bridge. It would be really cool to spend the night in the house by the river like those ones. In that building you can practice yoga. I just bought these sunglasses for like four dollars. I found a really nice skate park. Uh, it's a pity I don't have a board today. And of course in Thailand, literally everywhere you will see temples. Any Buddha statues. Okay, so I took a ride for one dollar. It was like five kilometers, 10 minutes drive. And let's check what this place is really famous for. This is the tourist attraction number one in this town. But the story is actually very tragic. This rail track was built during the World War II and it is 415 kilometers long. So this bridge and this whole rail track was built by Japanese. The track was starting in Bangkok and it was going to Rangoon, which was the previous capital of Birma, Myanmar. The purpose was to transport the war prisoners. The one who actually built that track 
were the prisoners. The people were forced to work 18 hours a day and over 100,000 people died building this place. Moreover, the prisoners, the laborers were tortured by Japanese. During the World War II, actually, Japanese soldiers were very, very violent and cruel. And of course, Japan never wanted to apologize. And especially that place, this bridge, became famous because of the 1957 war movie called Bridge on the River Kwai. That movie won seven Oscars. Actually, I haven't seen it, but my mom said it's a good movie. And while you're walking, be careful because you might lose your phone here. So the coffee is 70 baht. The funny thing is that the iced coffee is 20 baht more expensive than the hot one. Of course, those kind of places are a bit pricey, overpriced than actual prices, but YOLO. And since I'm paying that much for the coffee, I'm going to eat the flour as well. Very good. called by the river literally so I decided to stay in that city for the night why not I'm single still young and free so what I do is like I check on the booking.com and I select the hotel with the swimming pool and then I sort from the cheapest one to the most expensive so the hotel I booked of course has the swimming pool and I paid $17 for two people for one night so now I'm going there and we will see the property Toast from 7-Eleven, classic. Ooh. Okay, my place is just by the river, which is cool. Guys, for some unknown reason, I booked this hotel and they only charged me $6 for tonight. Uh, I don't know, maybe I had some points on booking, maybe I had some discount, $6. Let's check the swimming pool. So yeah, for sure, it was worth it. <laughs> Everything is perfect. So it's my fifth time in Thailand and there is a reason for that. I like to chill. So I'm walking in the city without the t-shirt. Girls are calling me sexy, not possible in the Western world. Drink, drunk, dance. Okay, this is a good one. Get drunk for 10 baht, which is approximately 25 cents. After a few days in Asia, I always need some bread. Rice, rice, noodles, few days, then a burger. And napang. Napang, good food. Thank you so much. So the owner is a musician and the food was actually very good. This is my way to the party. Probably in some countries that would be scary, not in Thailand. Oh, I'm jealous. The guys are skating and I have to go for a date. 